Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video I am going to talk about the problems of April circuits 2021 and the very second problem is divide arrays of hacker earth. Okay, so let's discuss this problem now. We have been given an array A of n integers and we have to find the smallest index i that is the minimum index i such that i is going to vary from 1 to n minus 1 where n is the length of this array such that mex of this prefix that is starting from elements starting from the index equal to 1 up to the index i that is the mex of this prefix must be equals to the mex of that suffix suffix is starting from i plus 1 up to the end of this array and what is that minimum index i such that this condition is going to hold okay now what is this mex that you are going to see over this okay now mex definition is basically of an array mex of an array of elements is defined as the minimum non-negative number missing from this array okay so now if you're not going to understand this entire scenario yet no need to worry about i'm going to explain this entire with the help of examples and uh, okay so now let's discuss the input format also test cases then n and then n space separated integers denoting the elements of this array also if no such index exists we have to print minus one denoting that there are not a minimum index i, smallest index i such that this condition is going to hold. Okay. Now for each test case in a new learn print the smallest index satisfying this condition. Okay. Now uh, talking about the constraints, you can see test cases is going to be at most 10 and n is going to be like 10 power 5 and a of i is going to be like 10 power 5. Now you can see the length of this array that is you can see of n integers is going to be like at most 10 power 5. So our O of n square solution will not be valid and we must think for O of n or O of n log n solution and here constraints is going to play a very vital role for determining the efficient solution of this problem. Okay, so let's move further to find out the best solution of this problem and analyze this problem with the help of examples. Okay, so let's move further. Okay, so first let's talk about what is the MEX of an array. Okay. So let's uh, let's consider an example here where the length of the array is going to be like 7 and uh, if we have been asked what is the mex of this array so mex is defined as minimum non negative integer which is not present in this array so let's start to iterate from 0 and find it out what is the minimum non negative integer which is not present in this array okay you can see 0 is present yes 1 is present yes 2 is present yes it is also present and let's talk about 3, yes it is also present, 4, yes it is also present, 5, yes it is also present and what about 6, 6 is not present, so it means that mex of this array will be 6, okay. Now how we are going to calculate this uh, mex of this array, you can easily see uh, we are going to start iterating from 0 and start iterating till we have an element which is not present in this array, okay. Now you can see we can easily find the mex of any array in having the time complexity of n log n and uh, this is going to be good we are going to just store all the elements into a set and start iterating from mex equal to 0 and iterate till we haven't found a value which is not present in the set so our condition would be like while uh, let's call it as set as s while s dot find mex uh, is not equal to s dot end that is iterate till we haven't found an element which is not present in the set then we are going to increment mex by one mex plus plus okay and followed by a semicolon okay now one thing that should be noted that these all elements should be present inside this set okay now this is the basically calculation of this mex can this be a good uh, method for calculating the mex for this uh, you can for this uh, solving this problem no of course not why it is not going to be a good solution for finding the mex for this problem let's talk about that also okay so let me first erase this entire stuff and this is really very annoying okay now okay so you can see uh, we are in this problem we need if we have been given this array let's talk about this one 0 2 2 3 0 okay and let's say this uh, array has a length n and in this case we need to find the minimum index i such that prefix of i must be equal to suffix of i plus 1 
that is where prefix and suffix are the arrays and what are these arrays let's say we are at this element and it is called at the minimum index which is our answer it means that this uh, mex of this value must be equal to the mex of this one okay now we are not aware that what is the mex of this prefix and what is the mex of this suffix okay now for every i from 1 to n we need to calculate the mex of every prefix and every suffix okay then what will be the time complexity of calculating the mex and uh, checking the if there exists a prefix whose mex is exactly equal to the suffix of that starting from i plus 1 up to the end of this array you can easily see time complexity of would be like o of n n is for iterating the array and calculating for every prefix and prefix suffix would be like of n log n by using the previous method that i have told about just storing all the elements into a set and to find out the mex you can see it will it have the time complexity of n square log of n now coming back to this problem you can easily see n is going to vary up to 10 power 5 and if we, this is going to vary up to 10 power 5 and square log of n would exceed the normal time limit of this problem and it would exceed the number of iterations at most iterations is 10 power 8 that is going to be a good and uh, this solution will give us a time limit exceeded verdict okay then what should be the best solution of this problem until the given time limit let's talk about that also now you can see if we consider this example like 0 2 2 3 0 you can see the minimum index such that mex of the prefix is exactly equal to the mex of suffix okay so you can see mex of this one is the minimum non-negative integer that is not present in this suffix is 1 and what is the minimum non-negative integer which is not present in this suffix which is also 1 so minimum index would be 1 okay so this is our answer okay now the main concept behind solving this problem is simply how to calculate the best way for finding the mex uh, that one thing that you need to memorize that for checking the prefix of that uh, let's say call it a prefix of an array must be equal to the suffix one and you think about that suffix of i plus 1 is basically starting from i plus 1 up to the end of the array what is the mex of this one if we are at this index i this is the prefix and this is the suffix we need to calculate this prefix array and this suffix array efficiently that is that is we are going to calculate the pre-calculate this prefix and suffix mex array how we are going to calculate this pre, uh, prefix and suffix mex array one one method that i have already did, discussed that would have a time complexity of o of n square log of n and which is not going to be a good one okay so let's talk about how we are going to calculate this prefix and suffix mex array efficiently okay so let's take this example as an array okay now you can see i have the elements like 0 4 okay so let me first uh, delete this stuff okay so let's talk about the mex uh, of this array like 0 4 5 one two three one nine okay now the uh, the way that i have calculated this prefix array and suffix array that is if you are at in this index what is the mex of this one okay and uh, how i have calculated this efficiently let's talk about that okay so first i have calculated this mex of this entire array that is this entire array and if you calculate the mex of this entire array you will get the value as six okay now this is the mex of this entire array now starting for calculating for building the prefix array i have just iterated from the back side that is uh, if we are at this index it means that i need to calculate the mex of this entire array which is nothing but equal to prefix of this n minus 1 that is the last element of this array would be the mex of this entire array okay now uh, i just i need to just uh, find the prefix of this one in next iteration okay so for, for, for calculating the prefix of this up to this one, I just need to erase this element from my entry. Okay. Now just I have uh, stored the frequency of all the elements of this array in a hash table. Let's call it as map. You can use unordered map or a map, any of this. It depends on your choice. Okay. But I found a map as useful. Now you can see just I have erased this entry from this map. Okay. Now mex is uh, actually 6 okay that is uh, i'm just again focusing on the definition of this mx that is minimum non-negative integer that is not present in this array if i have deleted this entry 9 
from this array now so prefix would become this one okay now i just need to calculate the mex of this starting from zero up to this one element okay so what should be the mex of this uh, prefix so okay one question that you should ask to yourself can deleting this nine will change the mex value that i have already have okay you can see this nine is greater than six so deleting this nine will not change the mex because this nine is going to be greater than six and what is the mex definition minimum non negative integer that is not present in this array okay now six is already not present in this array so deleting nine will not change the mex because already six is not present in this array okay so one conclusion one you can say one conclusion that i have got is uh, for let's call it as array of i that is if array of i that is we want to delete this array of i from my entry for calculating the prefix of some array if we want to delete some element array of i if array of i is greater than already found mex then my mex will not change okay now let's talk about what will happen if mex will be going to like uh, the element that we want to delete is going to be less than or equal to the mx okay now for now let's consider that i have just deleted this nine okay now we have this mex of this array as six again now you can see mex of this entire array is also six mex is uh, mx of this array is starting from zero to this n minus two if we consider the zero based index and will be also six because nine is going to be greater than six and mex will not change okay now let's talk about what will happen if we delete this element one that is already present now map uh, map will contain the elements of this one and if we delete this one from the entry of this map can this mex will change yes it can change note that i am using the word can it can change it may change and how why this may change because one is going to be less than six okay now it will change only and only when after deleting this entry one from my uh, from my map if there exists another entry one then mex will not change otherwise mex will change okay now let's talk about how why this is going to happen okay now if you delete this one present over here you can see i have uh, i'm talking about this one i have already present one okay so if i have already present one then mex will not change because uh, if i am deleting this one what is the minimum non negative integer which is still not present you can see this one is already present this will satisfy the previous entry uh, previous entry of one that i have erased so mex will not change and what about if this is one not present so mex will be direct minimum non negative integer which is not present would be directly one okay so for now let's uh, consider that if uh, the element that we are deleting is going to be like if array of i is going to be like less than mex okay then we are going to check if uh, deleting this element that is after deleting this element if there exist another entry in the map then mex will not change because we have already this entry already this uh, again another entry of this map so our deleting this element will not be affected because mex is the minimum non negative integer that is not present okay now you can see the mex of this entire array starting from 0 to 3 will be again 3 okay now let's talk about if we are going to just delete this 3 and this is going to be very much important okay let's talk about deleting this 3 okay now if we have deleted this 3 value it means that we uh, we are going to check first if this array of is greater than mex no it is not mex greater than mx so mx will change okay after deleting this element you can see i have the elements like 0 4 5 1 2 so if you sort this elements like 0 1 2 4 5 what is the minimum non negative integer which is not present in this array 0 1 2 4 5 you can see 3 is not present and you can easily see the if my value that is going to be deleted is going to be less than mx and it has not the entry already present in this map that i have taken you can easily see mx is going to change and why mx is going to change because it doesn't have the entry 3 that i have just deleted now okay so mx will change to this 3 think okay so i am just going to calculate this prefix array and this suffix array 
with the help of this logic and let me summarize this entire logic how I am going to do that okay so let me summarize now okay so for calculating this prefix array that is for every index i what is the mex of this array starting from 0 up to this index i so for calculating this prefix array start iterating from this n minus 1 and just pre-calculate the mex of this entire array let's call it as mex and just uh, delete this entry from this map and also you need to just maintain a frequency table of this entire array and start iterating from the back side if you are calculating this prefix uh, mex if you are calculating this suffix mex you need to start from this beginning and just delete this entry from this map and just check if my current array of i is going to be like greater than mex of this entire array found till now then just mex will not change otherwise if array of i is going to be like less than mex and uh, and you can see you need to just check one more condition that if my map will contain another entry after deleting this 9 you just have to consider after deleting this current element if map dot find uh, my current element let's call it as array of i is not present that is another entry is not present equals equals map dot end then mex will change and what will be the new mex the new mex will be the current element and this this you have to do for prefix and suffix and for prefix to start iterating from the back side and for suffix to start iterating from the uh, forward side that is from the beginning of this array and just you need to maintain uh, the map also that is map of uh, entire elements and just delete the uh, one element and then calculate the mx and you can see i have the time complexity of o of n log of n and uh, this is because at every iteration just i am just uh, uh, using map for deleting the elements and it would take of log of n time and n traversal for n elements will be of o of n overall complexity will be of o of n log n rather than o of n square log of n okay and uh, you just need to calculate this mex of this entire array in o of n log n time pre in that is before doing the prefix and suffix operation for building this array okay so let's talk about how we are going to implement this entire scenario in the coding part okay so you can see i have here the accepted code of this divide and array solution and time complexity view o of n log n space complexity of o of n for building prefix and suffix arrays of mex i have taken this n and you can see okay so let me zoom it out first okay so you can see this map as a frequency table for the elements of this array mp1 for operations in prefix manner and mp2 for operations in suffix manner okay now you can see starting from i0 up to the i n i have just calculated this mex of this entire array first that is while mp1 dot find is not equal to mp1 dot in mex is just going to be incremented okay you can use mp1 or mp2 it doesn't matter because both will contain the entry of this entire elements of this actual array starting from i equal to 0 up to this uh, end of this array okay now prefix is mex and suffix is also mex now i have to pre-calculate the mex for prefix and suffix part of this array okay now let's uh, default analyze with uh, that is initialize with 0 and fill the prefix mex vector this is actually filling the prefix mex vector and just start iterating from the back side of this array and for current entry that is prefix mex of i is actually pre and which is actually the current mex that is going on and just delete this entry from this map and uh, that is if entry becomes zero i need to just delete this entry from the map first i have decremented its entry from in this map mp1 and for calculating prefix mex vector and if my current element is going to be less than the current mex found till now and its entry is not present in this map another entry my mex will change that is pre becomes vi and the same way I have calculated the for the suffix mex vector. Okay. Now just I have iterated for i equal to 0 up to this n minus 1. And just I have calculated the minimum index i which is our answer. That is prefix of prefix mex of i must be equal to suffix mex of i plus 1. I have found the required index. That is print the required index and jump your program to the h. Label h. Okay. Otherwise if no any suitable index is found just print minus 1. Okay. So this is going to be the entire solution of this problem. Okay. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also join our Telegram channel mentioned in the description section of the video. And thank you for watching this video.